Hey, in today's video, we're gonna take the head and simplify it down to its most simple construction. It might even seem a little bit cartoony, but I think this is a good basis for us to use to get better at drawing portraits. My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, come on, let's get to work. Get your pencil ready. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna draw a couple heads here, and we're just gonna keep these as simple as possible. All right. So let's let's start off with just come in here and draw this shape here. Something like that. Then over here, I want you to do this. I want you to make one that's a little bit more square. Right, we'll do one like that. I'm just going to do this little, little piece right here and I'll slow down and let you get caught up, okay? And then do something like that. Okay, first thing on these, let's 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 kind of just put our eye line on these, okay? So we're just gonna put a straight line across from that one right there. Eye line right there. Eye line there. Eye line there. Okay, this is gonna be A, B, C, and D. And then I can do that accordingly. All right, let's get our center line on these, all right? So here's A, there's our center line for A. There's our center line for B. C. And then D. Whoop! There he is! <laughs> Take a second, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Boo! All right, let's get back to work. Okay. Let's... Let's now go around and, and get our noses in place, all right? So we're gonna do this for A. Let's jump over to B. B, we're gonna make more of a triangle there. C. All right, let's get the barrel. And Cindy, if I go too fast, just, just tell me to slow down here, okay? All right, let's get the barrel of the mouth for A, and we're gonna come down like this. And you can even add the chin if you want. Barrel of the mouth for B. Barrel of the mouth for C, and there's the chin. There's 
You know, one of the best things that you could do in order to improve is to draw a little bit every day. I've got this great membership class called the Daily Draw. We get together every day for about 30 minutes. I go live in the afternoon and we cover all things that have to do with drawing. If you stuck with this for three months, I guarantee you, you're gonna be far more confident in your drawing. Link is in the description, check it out. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, on A, let's go ahead and, and get the, uh, bring down the septum. And then for the man's mouth, we're gonna come down just like the letter M. Just like that. On B. Just do something like that. See, we'll curve that around like this. This woman here, we're gonna make that M a little bit more steep so they're like lips there. And we definitely wanna darken those in. All right, let's get these eyes in place. So these, these are going to be the eyebrows. There's our uh, upper eyelids. Usually the corners of the mouth line up with the pupils. So we're just going to put a little dot here. And same thing over here, put a little dot. Okay, let's jump over to B. We can make this guy have a bit of a, a unibrow. A straight line there. Pupils. Okay, let's jump over to C now. These are gonna be his eyelids. I'll show you what we're gonna do here as soon as we're done with working through these. There's a little bit of a, a lower eyelid. Let's get over to this woman here. Add some eyelashes.
And let's finish off. We forgot to add this part of her nose there. <coughs> Same thing over here in C. And up here in B as well. Okay, on A, let's go ahead and get this hair in here. So we're gonna give this guy a bit of a, a widow's peak. And we can tone that in just a bit. This guy will just do this, something like that. See, we'll make this guy have a flat top. This lady, we're gonna give her some bangs. I'm gonna add some tone to this. Just go quickly. You don't no need to make this thing perfect. Just rough through it, okay? All right, let's get some ears here. Now the ears line up right at the eye and go down to the nose. So let's just do that. Here, same thing. This guy, same thing. And we're just going to put like a letter T here. Like it goes like this and like that. Do you see that? It goes like this and like that. Same thing over here on B. It goes like this, like that, C, and even this woman back here. Last thing I want to do is I want to put glasses on C, so get some variation here. So, hard line across the top there. All right, now. Using this simple process, we just, we didn't really worry about construction. We're looking, it's more cartoony, but this should be a little bit more relaxed. And I think sometimes when we try and stay in that relaxed mode, uh, 
we can be far more effective when we're drawing. So let's go ahead and now take those away and let's bring up, let's bring up this guy right here, okay? Let's try and draw two pictures, two pictures and using what we just kind of did, walking through that same quick process, okay? So first thing, let's just go ahead and start with an overall shape. There's the, there's the eye line. <clears throat> there's the center line. Okay. Let's get this nose in place. Just something like this. Get that nostril. Okay. Ball of the mouth. Chin. Quarters of the mouth. where his eyes are. Accept them coming down. Okay, let's get these glasses in. So, one's angled, it's coming down like this, and this is, of course, coming out over here like this. Add some value there. Okay, so he's got this big beard. So let's let's give him some more uh, girth or or underneath his face here. So we'll come straight down like this. Bring that in. And 
this forehead at a, a little bit of an angle. And then we can drop the ear. Ear goes just below the nose. And there's that, there's that T. Okay, back of the head is a straight line right there. You see that? Okay, so this hat, forget the brim. Don't worry about the brim. I'm only, we're only going to think of this right here, this, this little section right there. You see that? That's all we're going to think about right now. So let's see here. That's going to be on a bit of a curve. Whenever we draw hats, we always ignore the brim at first. Just get the cap right. That's, that's what we aim toward. Okay, so this is like the side of it. You see, this is the side of the hat coming in. Let's put that in as well. So we're going to... It's going to be right about there. Okay, with a cap, with the brim here, let's 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 establish where I'm going to erase this for a second. We want to establish where this is. You see this? Where is that? That's the front end of this cap here. So this lines up with the middle of that, and then this one's really far out there. You see that? Let's put that in place. So it's going to be right about there. And I'm going to be right about there. So it's all right. So this is going to connect on the side here, just like this. <clears throat> and this is going to come right back over here like that. And we can add some tone underneath there, just something like that maybe. Okay, top of brim. Last thing, let's get his hair in. All right, so his hair is going to just follow along the face. So we're going to come down. He's got this mustache. This side is going to come down like this.
And then we got his beard in place. The one thing I, I just did, if you weren't watching, I, I put the, the edges of his glasses in, just like this. Okay, so there's a very, there is, there is a, hopefully that's a fun way, a, a little bit more simpler way to approach the uh, drawing of the portrait just by dropping in these pieces, okay? Let's do one more here. Let's see if we could squeeze one more in. Let's do this woman here. Okay, we're going to start with a oval. I'm going to go a little bit more faster here, okay? Eye line or brow line. Now this could be the... Eye line. Now, I'm going to shift it a little bit to the right because it is three-quarter view. What I mean is I could see more of this side than this side. Here's the shape of her nose. Barrel of the mouth. Chin. The little, the little uh, part of the lip here, the little, the little center section. I probably made my lips a little too big, but that's okay. That's, that's why we're doing this, just to try and not be so uh, perfect. It gives you a lot of. A lot of opportunity just to relax and enjoy trying to draw some portraits. All right, look at this. This is interesting. I really like how these eyes are one, two, three. You see that? I'll move that out of their way. They're both kind of like that in a way. So let's see here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Drop our pupils. This eyebrow is like an S curve. She's definitely in the other one as well. When I do draw portraits, I'm always looking for opportunity to look for straights and curves. So look at this. This is a beautiful, look at that, beautiful straight there. Here's another straight. And then we've got this gorgeous curve coming around. Look at that, gorgeous curve. And then we've got a curve down here as well, you see? So let's get rid of all that. So we've got this awesome straight right there.
curve. Kind of another straight, and then it curves around. Here, this one you can't see it that as well. Now on her glasses, be careful. Now look, look to where her pupil is. The pupil's toward the top part of her glasses. You see that? So it's, they're going to be a little bit lower, just something like this. Let's get this hair, this beautiful, almost like a J hook there. Okay, there's your hair. And then here's, this is nice, look at this. This is this beautiful straight line coming all the way down there. You see that? And you have another straight line right there. Straight line. Collar. Okay, that's going to be it, I think. So that's a that is a great little exercise to just really simplify the heads and to just get comfortable with with. Uh, how they are all uh, constructed by using more of a cartoon way to get yourself, you could, you know, to get yourself familiar with it. Thing is, if, if you were to approach it like this and drew a bunch of these, if you drew these really light, then you could go back in and start to develop some of the 3D forms, you see? All right, thanks for watching. My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws. A dad who draws.